Welcome back. A lot of my viewers also watch another YouTube channel from a motor dealer called Barry Crampton. Now Barry's got a bit of a bee in his bonnet about EVs and fair play to him. He's getting lots of subscribers and lots of views um, but a lot of the comments on my videos are from folk that don't agree with what Barry's doing. Now I'm not the type of person who's going to enter into some online debate with another motor dealer or another difference of opinion because we all have choice. But he's putting out some interesting videos ranging from did you buy an EV of your own free will or were you brainwashed? High particulates that still seem to be doing the rounds, break even point, etc. etc. Um, and his thumbnails again, not that I'm criticizing a lot of your thumbnails, Barry. You're very often crossing your arms. Um, so, body language people would say you're being very defensive, but anyway, you know, that's your view, and that's great. And you, you, you've always enjoyed selling petrol and diesels, and long may, may that continue for you, my friend. But what I'd like to do is just point out the depreciation, which seems to be your main bugbear about EVs, concerning the EV I own, my Kia e-Nero 4 Plus in the beautiful yacht blue. So if you watch a previous video of mine, I'll put a link above my head now, and when I actually purchased it, as it was on a personal contract hire from a funder called Arvel, via Drive Electric, the broker that I used to work for. Um, basically, in April of 2024, I bought the vehicle outright from Arvel, even though it was a personal contract hire, wasn't a PCP, um, and it was basically the market value. So in April, that's seven months ago, because I'm recording this as of November 2024, in April, I paid £17,875 for my Kia e-Nero, which at the time had approaching 35,000 miles, I think. My car has now got 42,000 miles on the clock. Now, just a couple of weeks ago, the very same make, model, miles, even the colour, spec, Kia e-Nero 4 Plus went through BCA's auction and I kept my eye on it and that actually sold on a 21 plate 42,000 miles in the same condition with the odd chip and the odd mark uh, with full history like mine it actually sold for £16,050 well there you go Jonathan the difference between 17800 and just over £16,000 is the best part of £1,700. Hang on a minute. So with the BCA fees, bless them, who whatever dealer bought that, he would have paid £1,271 in fees, uh, including a £75.60 assured report. And he might have paid for delivery and other bits and bobs. But just taking the bare essentials of what that dealer would have paid for that car on the floor of the hammer, the actual total for him to drive it away from BCA would have been £17,321.60, which is just £554 less than what I paid in April. So in the seven months, my Kia e-Nero has depreciated by £554. Now that would be if I'd have bought that myself from auction. Obviously, you've got the, the hassle and the cost of me going to fetch it and bring it back, etc. But the dealer that bought that car, he's going to want to, to make at least a thousand pound margin if he can on that vehicle. So that would have been priced at seventeen thousand eight hundred pounds. In which case, it's more or less the same price that I paid seven months ago for mine. So. The depreciation is negligible and shock horror, all vehicles depreciate. Just let that sink in. Admittedly, there's been a high depreciation on some EVs of, you know, the Porsche Taycans. And well, if you're daft enough to spend a hundred thousand pounds on a car, you know, don't go crying in your beard when it comes to the fact that you've lost half its value in the first few months. But anyway, just thought you'd like to find out the actual real world figures 
from IKEA e Nero. In seven months, I've basically lost £500 in depreciation, which I'm more than happy with. Anyway, this isn't a dig at Barry. <laughs> Barry wants to respond. Good on you, Barry. But my personal vehicle, maybe it's the seven year warranty with Kia, I don't know. But the fact of the matter is, I've only lost 500 quid in seven months, which I'm pretty happy with. Thanks for watching. See you next time.